Now to find the face value of the bill here, we need true discount because face value of the bill is banker's discount into true discount divided by banker's gain. Legally due date is nothing but date of drawing plus bill period plus three days grace period. We know that discounted value is equal to face value 1 minus TR. Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidya Ashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. So in this session, we are going to revise the chapter, bill discounting. So let's see the type of question, two mark questions and three mark question. So from the chapter, you will get two mark one question, three mark one question. So total, you will get five marks from this chapter. So let's see what are the type of question you can expect for your examination from two marks as well as three marks. First question. Banker's discount and banker's gain on a certain bill due after some time are rupees 1250 and rupees 50 respectively. Find the face value of the bill. So we know that most of the terms in bill discounting are abbreviated to BD, BG, FV, DV, T, BP, DD. So that means all the terminologies are written in a short form that is bankers discount as BD, bankers gain as BG, face value as FV, bill period as BP like that. So you should know the terms correctly. So before starting the problems. So from this question they have given the bankers discount as well as the bankers gain. Now to find the face value of the bill here we need true discount because face value of the bill is bankers discount into true discount divided by banker's gain. So now how to find out true discount? True discount is always banker's discount minus banker's gain. So that is we have here 1250 minus 50 which is equal to 1200. So rupees 1200 is the true discount and here when you substituted 1250 into 1200 divided by 50, you will get the value as rupees 30,000. On solving this, we will get the face value of the bill as rupees 30,000. Next question, true discount on a bill was rupees 100 and banker's gain was rupees 10. What is the face value of the bill? Again here, they have given true discount that is 100 and banker's gain that is 10. So again you want to find out face value. To find the face value from this formula here, banker's discount is necessary. Banker's discount is the sum of these two. So that is true discount plus banker's gain that is equal to 110. Now face value of the bill is given by banker's discount into true discount divided by banker's gain so that is equal to 110 into 100 divided by 10. So we will get the value as 1100 in terms of rupees. Next, banker's gain on a bill of 6 months at 4% per annum is rupees 24. Find the true discount and banker's discount. So here they have given the bill of 6 months. So therefore here time is 6 months which can be converted into year as 6 by 12. Next rate of interest is given that is 4% so whose value is 0 0.04 and banker's gain is given that is rupees 24. So we need to find out the true discount and banker's discount. So we know that banker's gain can be given by the formula true discount into time into R. So here bank again is 24. We doesn't know the true discount. Here it is 1 by 2 and here it is 0 0.04. So on solving this, we will get the true discount as 24 into 2 divided by 0 0.04 whose value is rupees 1200 on solving. 
The next thing is we need to find out banker's discount. Banker's discount is always true discount plus banker's gain. So therefore, when you sum up the true discount and the banker's gain, we'll get the value as rupees 1224. Next question. A bill drawn for three months was legally due on 6-7-2018. Find the date of drawing of the bill. We know that legally due date is nothing but date of drawing plus bill period plus three days grace period. So now I need a date of drawing here. So therefore, date of drawing if you want to find then you need to subtract the legally due date bill period along with the three days. So what was the legally due date? It was 0607 and 2018. So the bill period was three months. So here it is 0, 3, 0. You need to subtract months. Next we have three days. So three days, 0, 0. We need to subtract this. So therefore here 6 minus 3 is 3, 7 minus 3 is 4 and 2018. So this was the date of drawing. Next question, 3 mark questions. A bill rupees 3500 due for 3 months was drawn on 27th March 2012 and discount on 18th April 2012 at the rate of 7% per annum. Find the banker's discount and discounted value of the bill. First let's write what they have given. So they have given the face value that is rupees 3500. Next date of drawing is given. So that is 27th March, that is 27, 3, 2012. And it was discounted on 18th April 2012 at the rate of 7% per annum. So that means 0 0.07. Now we need to find out banker's discount as well as the discounted value of the bill. So first here we need to find out the time here. So first let's see the time. Let's see when does the legally due date falls now. It is date of drawing plus the bill period that is three months plus three days grace. So 36, 2012. So the legally due date was on 30th June but it was discounted before 30th June on 18th April 2012 on at the rate of 7% per annum. So let's see the time here. So the time period is being 18th April to 30th June. So that means how many days we have from 18th April? So from 18th April means 12 days remaining plus May 31st till 30th June. So total you have 73 days. So 73 days let me convert it into years. So 73, 365 which is equal to 1 by 5 in terms of years. So now I need to find out here the banker's discount as well as the discounted value of the bill. So before that let me find out discounted value. We know that discounted value is equal to face value. 1 minus TR. So face value is 3500. 1 minus time is 1 by 5 into 0 0.07 in terms of rate of interest. So on solving this, we will get discounted value as rupees 3451. Next, I need to find out the banker's discount. So we know that banker's discount is given by face value of the will minus discounted value. So therefore, 3500 minus 3451, you will get the value as rupees 49. So this is the banker's discount. 
So next question, a banker pays rupees 2340 on a bill of rupees 2500, 146 days before the legally due date. Find the rate of interest charged by the banker. So here the face value and discounted value is given and the time is given, we need to find out the rate of interest. So here we can use two formula, one using banker's discount by finding the difference of face value and discounted value or else directly you can use the discounted value formulas F into 1 minus TR. So I'll use banker's discount formula because it is easy for the simplification. We know that banker's discount is the face value minus discounted value. So therefore it is 2500 minus 2340 whose value is equal to 160. Now also I know that BD is equal to F TR. So that is here I have 160, F is given as 2500, time is in terms of days, so let us convert it into year, 146 divided by 365 into R. So on evaluating this we will get R is equal to 0 0.16, if you convert this into percentage we get R is equal to 16 percentage. So therefore the rate of interest charged was 16%. Next question, the banker's gain on a bill is one fifth of the banker's discount and the rate of interest is 20% per annum. Find the unexpired period of the bill. So here the relation between the banker's gain and banker's discount is given that is it is one by fifth of banker's discount. We know that the face value is banker's discount into true discount divided by banker's gain. So here I'll take banker's discount into true discount divided by one by five banker's discount because the relation says banker's gain is one fifth of banker's discount. So we will get five into TD. Now here we have face value is five times the true discount. So face value is equal to five. True discount is given by FTR divided by 1 plus TR. So I can cancel F on both side, we'll get 1 plus TR is equal to 5TR. So I'll get 4TR is equal to 1. So I need T here, so it is 1 by 4R. So the rate of interest is given as 20%. So 20% means it is 0 0.2, so therefore 2 then 1 divided by 4 into 0 0.2 will give you 1.25 in terms of decimal. So your time period is 1.25 years or we can say in terms of month, 0.25 means 3 months, so 15 months, 12 plus 3, 15 months. Next question, for rupees 512.50 due 6 months at 15% per annum, find the true present value at discounted cash value. So the present value is given by the formula F divided by 1 plus TR. So we have the face value as 512.50 divided by 1 plus. Time is 6 months, so we can convert it into 0 0.5, 1 by 2. And 15% can be taken as 0 0.15. Evaluating this, we will get the present value as 476.44 in terms of rupees. Next we need to find out discounted value. Discounted value is again F1 minus TR. So 512.50 1 minus we can take this as 0 0.5 0 0.15. So evaluating this we will get the discounted value as 474.06. So this is the formulas. So anywhere in the chapter bill discounting, so the formulas are necessary to evaluate the problems. So it is simple and you can easily simplify the problems whenever the relation between the particular terms is known. So we have seen the type of questions we have solved in the chapter bill discounting. In the next session, we'll meet you with the new chapter. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.